clear and tough one to take at the end. How do you assess the 90 minutes? Yeah, I think on 90 minutes, it's a, you know, it's a solid away performance again, to be honest. Um, yeah, the first half was was pretty even as, as we knew they had, you know, a threat on set plays, but not much from free play. They were hard to break down, but we had pretty good control in the game. Um, so, yeah, first half was pretty even. Second half, I thought we took, you know, good control of the game, really. The whole game was played in our half. We, we pinned them in. We applied more and more pressure as the game went on and, um, you know, without creating loads and loads of chances, which they are hard to create against. Um, you know, we built pressure and made the positive changes and got ourselves in a great position in the game, 1-0. And, you know, in the second half, we'd, we'd given away almost nothing until, you know, 90 minutes plus. So, yeah, if you talk about the first 90 minutes, there was, you know, of course, things to improve, but a, a solid performance and so close to being a, a really good win. But, um, yeah, the, the 10 minutes out of time, we didn't, you know, we didn't do quite well enough. We didn't manage to um, keep the ball out of our box enough. We didn't defend our box well enough. Of course, there was luck in there as well in the goals. That's that's football. The ball bounces their way a few times instead of our way. Um, and the the only big disappointment is that we weren't able to, you know, see that game out at the end because it, it would have been a, a strong win. Um, but we end up on the other side of it today. Had to ride a bit of pressure in the first half, but that is part of an away performance, isn't it? And what did you say to the group at half time? Yeah, um, I thought the pressure was just some balls in and around the box, to be honest. And you're not going to get away from coming here. They're going to have a few set plays. So, um, yeah, we felt like tactically the game was was there in the first half. Our execution needed to be a little bit better in their third of the pitch to, um, you know, get more control higher up. Um, and we managed to do that in the second half. So we, we felt like we were starting to, you know, find the spaces between the lines. We were starting to pop through them. We were starting to get control. We were pinning their wide players further and further back. And, and the second half, we managed to do that and um, took real control of it. So, no, I think, we, look, we knew we needed to do a little bit more and step up a little bit. But we also felt we were in a good place in the game. And I think the second half panned out that way. And again, we, um, we score a really good goal. Um, on another day, it, it could have, should have, would have been a been a winning goal, but today it wasn't. And um, you know that's the the disappointing thing. That's the thing we need to learn from. But it's also you know part of football. It's um, over the course of a forty six game season, it's going to be unlikely that you're not going to have one game where something goes against you late in the game. We've had it the other way plenty of times, and today it went against us. A very good goal from Kiefer Moore, as you say. What did you want to see after opening the scoring, and did you see it? Um. No, of course, you always want to stay on the front foot, take control of the ball, take control of the game in their half, but it's easier said than done. Um, we didn't manage to quite get control of the of the game. Um, so then it's about, of course, defending as well as you can, keeping the ball out of your box and, and defending your box. And, and we didn't manage to do that bit well enough. You know, we had a very attacking team on the pitch at the end. That's just the way the flow of the game went. We make... You know, four positive substitutions at, at nil nil. Um, that's our way. It helps us get the what could have been the winning goal. Um, but then it means that you've got to defend when ten minutes goes up. You got to defend that game out with a lot of attacking players on the pitch. So of course, you know, it would have helped to have had a little bit more presence and, and height on the pitch at that point. Um, but other than that, we still know that we can do better. We still know we can get up to the ball better. We can block things better. We can um, keep it out of our box better and. We can defend the, the first contacts better in the box. Um, and then, again, I say in, in reality, football sometimes is a luck element to it. And it's probably going to come in your box a couple of times in the last 10 minutes if you're 1 0 up away from home to Cardiff. And, you know, a lot of times it bounces for you. And, and today was one of those days, the only couple of balls that did go in there, they, they bounced their way, not, not even once, but, you know, in the second goal, it's bounced their way a couple of times. And, um, you know, leads to them getting the winner. Naturally, so soon after the 90 minutes, it does feel heavy, doesn't it? How do you balance kind of embracing what's happened and learning from it, but also not getting out of the system as such, but but, but moving on? No, I think, look, it's um, we felt the the nice feeling of scoring late goals so often in games this year. And you yeah. can tell the group's really got a taste and a, and a thirst for that. And um, we have the belief that we can do that. And... We generally saw games out today, but you know today we we didn't, and we feel the the horrible emotions of losing a game late in the game, and um, you know that that 
it's very disappointing today, but it can make you stronger. You know, we might be back in the situation again in a big game before the end of the season where we have to we have to see something out. We might have to defend our box late in the game and um you know, the things that we didn't manage to do today, the man things we didn't manage to do right. Um we have to make sure that we use the feelings that we have today to to do it better in the in the next occasion when it comes up because there's there's lots of games left and you know we might have a, a similar type of scenario again. So no the the players will learn from. I'm sure they will. We learn from every experience today. Certainly, the first ninety minutes. There's there's good things there to take from it. But the the way the game finished off is um is a sore one, and uh, you know we need to use it to make us stronger.